Well, this is going to be, I guess, <coughs> excuse me, part four or the fourth Bathrobe Chronicles. Uh, first one about religion, well, specifically about religion. And I guess what I want to talk about is it seems as though religious people or religions is supposed to be hands off. In other words, uh, people who aren't religious are not supposed to talk about people who are or talk about the person's religion. It seems like that's sort of sacred, no pun intended. Uh, but let's think about that for a moment. Uh, for years, people who were atheists, they were like in the closet, uh, somewhat the same as homosexuals. You know, they, sheesh, they sure weren't going to tell anyone that they were an atheist because, obviously, you know, those, those atheists are not moral people and so forth and so on. They have no ethics, they have no morals because, of course, they have no teachings, teachings of the Bible, of course as if that's the only way anyone would be ethical or moral or do the right thing, which of course makes absolutely no sense. But I guess the question is, is, you know, you drive around town, there are churches everywhere, on every corner there's a church. People are driving by in their cars and they have stickers, Jesus saves, praise the Lord, so forth and so on, and on and on and on. But yet, it, it seems as though an atheist more or less isn't allowed to say much of anything about someone's religion. Uh, even though, you know, we are inundated with it. It's everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I mean, for crying out loud, they have, uh, everybody has a chaplain. Chaplains in the services. Go to a hospital. There's a chaplain in the hospital. Uh, they... NASCAR races, they have a prayer, uh, you know, but, but yet if I were to approach someone, let's say they're a Baptist for lack of a better denomination, and said, hey, you know, what's up with that? It makes absolutely no sense. Where is there any evidence that there's a God? I mean, people would, well, it might shoot me or something. <laughs> so, I don't know. It, uh, it, it's okay, of course, when we, the United States, send missionaries over to save these savages who don't know about God. I mean, that's fine. But, but yet, if I were to walk up to the Baptist and say, hey, gee whiz, you know, tell me about your God, it makes no sense. It'd shoot me or something. So I guess the question is, <clears throat> How is it okay for uh, uh, a religious person, let's say Christian, you know, we're here in the States and a lot of Christians, uh, to talk about atheists, you know, about, oh, those godless heathens who obviously cannot have any ethics or morals or whatever. That's okay, but yet I can't say to the Baptist, what the hell are you doing? believing in some God you can't, you, you've never even seen, and no one's ever proven uh, that this person even exists. Uh, it just isn't fair. Um, and it makes no sense. Um, I don't know. You know, we have no, no problems when uh, we, we have an, a presidential race and I can go on camera or walk down the street or do whatever and say, uh, let's just use McCain and uh, Obama. And I can say, oh, McCain's a scumbag. Oh, he's done this. He's done that. And that's okay. Even though you like Obama uh, or, excuse me, McCain, that's fine. You know, we can do that. If you like the Pittsburgh Steelers or someone, and I don't, I can say, oh, those Pittsburgh Steelers, man, their team, you know, is dreadful. They don't have a quarterback and on and on and on. Same with baseball. Same with anything. Same with, I mean, everything out there except 
religion. For some reason, it's supposed to be hands-off. Now, how much sense does that make? Or does it make sense? I mean, I don't know. It, uh, as far as, you know, the atheist, um, you know, we get this stuff down our throats every day. Uh, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, there are um, at least three states that still have on the books that an atheist can't even run for office. Think about that. You can't even run for office. In other words, this is supposedly our government, but yet we can't run for office. Oh, well. So if any of you have a clue about that, uh, why don't you let me know. And as Pat Condell would say, peace.